sharing conversation with Mr. Khwaja Saifuddin Ahmed, who is the Senior Sales Director for Middle East, Africa and South Asia. Thank you for speaking to us today. It's a pleasure. Uh, Thank you. We've heard so much about WD. I mean, you guys are really making a lot of headway into the OEM market and into the component market. Tell us a little bit about uh, your role here in the Middle East, in the region that you manage and some of the products that you have here. Okay, uh, so for us, uh, being present in Dubai is more of a strategic and a practical decision. Uh, it's much more centrally located. Uh, we have been present in Dubai for the past 15 years now. Uh, I have been with the company for the past 10 years of those 15. And uh, the amount of uh, intensity in the exception, uh, acceptability of the products and the way we have been able to position it, uh, deliver the solutions which people always look for, uh, while saving the data uh, has been tremendous. If you look at the product portfolios, uh, then for us the key is to have a specific solution for a specific need. We don't go in a one-size-fit-all uh, sort of a go-to-market strategy. Uh, that's why if you see, these are just some of the few products which are there on my desk, uh, but we have uh, generated uh, uh, a very easy of uh, product identification mode, if we can put it like that, by color coding all our products. Uh, so today for an end user or anybody who wants to safeguard and store the data, uh, we have products which are classified as green, blue, black, red, and very lately the purple products. Uh, they all have specific uh, features and benefits depending on the usability or the user's needs. These have been very well accepted uh, in all the markets across the world because it takes away the complexity of going through a data sheet and trying to figure out that what fits your need. Uh, in this market specifically, our high-end products or the high-capacity products in the green, especially the four terabytes when we came out with, has been uh, very well accepted. It's become sort of a standard in the market that anybody who needs a high computing need or whose data consumption is very high is going for the WD Green 4 terabyte products. As a matter of fact, our latest offering, Purple, has become synonymous with surveillance. Uh, it's specifically meant for that environment of surveillance. Uh, and likewise, our Black Square, which uh, has taken away the market, especially on the high-end consumers who need a small form factor, which is a 2.5-inch form factor in their laptops, and they want the ultimate performance. So... Uh, our presence in this region complements the range of products which the company is offering in the region. So take us a little bit through the range of products. I mean, you've mentioned that you have a, a range of flagship products that you have here. But just as an overview, your key products, especially the ones that you have on the table, just uh, take us through it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I'll start from the left to the right. So this is our black square, uh, which we have lately launched uh, a few months ago. Uh, the key differentiator between this product and what uh, an end user or a consumer can find anywhere in the market is that uh, till now the choice was very limited. If you want to have the best of the features on your laptop, you used to either upgrade uh, to the highest capacity hard drive or if uh, you're fluent enough and you can afford it, then you would go in for a non-hard drive solution. Now with this, we have taken away the pros and cons of both the sides and we have bring, brought uh, the best of the world which is available at the moment in one solution which is that it has a 120 GB SSD and a one terabyte hard drive in one. Uh, so this is a single drive which a consumer needs to install in his drive in his uh, application but the biggest differentiator is that he sees it as two drives. So at the time of installation or even afterwards, we give the control in the hands of the, the consumer. If he wants to save the operating system and the other programs or whatever he wishes to save on the SSD, he can do it and the data files and things on a hard drive. Uh, so it does away with the biggest limitation than in any investment which you do on an expensive uh, laptop and you want to upgrade later on, it has only one slot. So making use of that one slot we are giving the features of tooth drives in it. Uh, the next one, if uh, we go through it, it's our red drive. Now, red drive, uh, when we came out with this, we call it the red, 
but this is uh, primarily focused towards the NAS. Now, NAS as a segment is one of the fastest growing external storage segment globally that people are now filling up their DASs or their direct attached storages. Uh, they're filling up their desktop storage devices and they want more than one drive to save. So this is an ideal solution which goes uh, into a NAS box where you could be having four slots. So using a four terabyte red drive, you can have up to 16 terabytes of storage at home or at your workplace. Uh, and the biggest differentiator is that this is meant for the NAS environment. So even the controllers, the softwares, the way the drive is manufactured is based on that environment. We have some proprietary features like the NASware 24 by 7 and these things built into it. So it is meant for that environment. So it's, it's not that we are just putting up a desktop drive which is meant for a desktop application or use which is not that intensive uh, into a NAS environment. So this is specifically focused for the people who have a NAS solution and want the best out of that NAS solution. Uh, the next one is our purple drive. Now, uh, this has been, uh, I would say, a game changer in the surveillance environment where today, uh, as an end user or as a consultant or as uh, anyone who's involved in taking that decision for a surveillance setup, uh, hard drive never had a relevance in it. People were more concerned about what are the cameras they're using, what are the DVRs they're using, what sort of cabling, whether it's an IP based or not, and this and that. And storage was just a capacity which was written. But that tend to get the realization where in unavoidable or unforeseen circumstances, they need to review the data because of which that entire setup is. And when that data is not as per what the investment is, that they, it's a pixelated thing, they are, the breakage is in the video, it's not a streaming video and things like that, then they realize that there is something missing. And hard drive is that core component in that entire surveillance setup, which should have been looked up in the first place. Uh, this is the second generation. Initially, we used to have our AV products on that. Uh, so going with the generalization, we have come out with a purple drive. Now, this drive is the result of uh, many years of research in different environments, in different uh, situations. And uh, this has been standardized by almost all the manufacturers of surveillance globally. That today, this has become a de facto with their systems. Uh, it comes up to four terabyte of space, which is enough for a few years uh, of recording depending on the uh, the DVR or uh, the recorder you're using and the key feature is that again this is a 24 by 7 drive it doesn't need to rest it's meant for that environment the way the architecture is it's meant for that continuous writing and uh, some other proprietary features in it which ensure that the quality of video which you get is the best possible at the moment Talking about these products, I mean, uh, there are obviously there are two very critical markets that you're going to try and uh, capture with these. One is the OEM market, and one is your uh, reseller market, where people are actually looking to assemble their own machines or assemble their own devices. What is your go-to market for these two uh, prongs of your business? I mean, if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Now, if you look at these uh, specific, these two sides of the market. In the first market, our solution comes inside the box. So the end user, the consumer who's going to consume that product doesn't know what's inside. Uh, but it's only the experience which differentiates. The second is, uh, I would say, a DIY market in which an, a true integration or putting together the pieces of that jigsaw happens. Now, uh, both these are very differentiated uh, go-to-market approaches. In the first one, it's the compatibility, which is uh, a primary concern because naturally, if you're going into a A brand's box, it's the image of that A, B or C brand, which is perceived in front of the consumer. So uh, the products need to be as per their compatibility that with their other core components and things uh, need to be adhered to. We are as per what uh, 
the entire manufacturing is based on that compatibility. Uh, first of all, uh, for these A, B, or C bigger brands, the global brands where our products go inside a box. Can you name a few brands of products that you have these devices present in? Uh, I would say, exception of one or two, any device which records your data and uses a hard drive is using a WD drive. So it's only a few devices which are meant on uh, SSDs and things like that, like the iPods and stuff are not using a hard drive. But apart from that, wherever you see a data storage happening on a hard drive, uh, WD has to be one of that. Uh, from a consumer perspective, which was your second side uh, of the question, uh, it's more about education. It's more about that person who is your trusted advisor across the table where you go and buy and ask him that, okay, what do you suggest? This is my need. I need to assemble a PC or I need to upgrade my DVR or I need to upgrade my laptop. What would you suggest? Uh, their training and education is the prime thing. Otherwise, how it becomes is that uh, then the decision or the suggestion is solely based on uh, price and availability that what they have in stock and what is the cheapest without the consumer knowing that he has a better choice or he has an alternative over there. So their education and availability are the key uh, parts of that decision making. So what are you doing now in terms of especially the reseller market because I, I believe that this is where uh, a product especially like the black because this is a performance product uh, is going to be very key for you. How are you first reaching out to the consumers as well as the resellers? So what are the what are the initiatives that you have started off to get the message across to them that this such a product is actually available in the market and this is how you can use it? Okay, so if you look at it, it's it's a two pronged uh, approach over there. Uh, for the consumers, it's more about av uh, the availability of a solution like that. That you were looking for this. This is what we have, which fulfills your needs and your desires. Uh, from a channel perspective, we have uh, now, I think so it's in the fifth year of running. We have an educational campaign known as the WD University, where uh, the resellers can enroll, the salespeople can enroll. And uh, it's sort of an educational uh, module, which we have by product, by vertical. And uh, it's not only that we try and teach them, they are certified on that module, which they get. Uh, there are incentives for them to come back and study and enrich their knowledge base on this. Uh, what we also do is we also conduct off-counter small training sessions where instead of we getting the people out of their comfort zones and trying to tell them that, no, you don't know anything and we are going to teach you what you don't know, stuff like that, we do it across the counter uh, where our uh, trainers travel to these stores one by one, 15, 20 minute modules. This is the new product. These are the top five features. Move on. We conduct a rerun after a few weeks, how much of the knowledge has been retained and how much we need to refresh. And then we do it. So these are sort of, uh, and there are many more engagement programs also, like whenever there's a new product launched, uh, we do a launch with the, the prosumers, with the consumers, with the resellers and the system integrators in a separate environment because for everyone the need of information or the uh, the type of information which they need is different some people need to know the features some people need to know the benefits so that's our approach that without knowledge without knowing about what the product is our entire engineering marvel goes to waste if you don't know that what are the features in the product all those years and money which we have spent in coming out with that differentiated feature or that benefit, it goes to waste. So that's a key focus uh, going on with. Thank you for sharing that information with us. Uh, uh, we really appreciate the time you spent with us and showing us these amazing products. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.